Good morning and welcome to part two of our New York vlog. So it feels really weird to say that, I was just about to say Disney World vlog, but Disney World vlog it is not. Um, yeah, welcome. Uh, it is the start of our first full day here in New York, which is very exciting. And I expect this vlog will probably cover most of our trip, just because I'm not going to be vlogging loads and loads because it's a mum and daughter trip. But I wanted to bring you along just to show you some of the bits that we are up to. Uh, this morning we have just had breakfast in the hotel which was really nice and we have packed up because we're moving rooms to a bigger room. We're in what's called a superior queen but it's quite small. We did read reviews to say that the rooms were small but it's really small. So we're moving to a double double room which means that we're just going to have a lot more space so when there's two of us and we're going to have hopefully lots of shopping. Um, we'll have places to put it because at the moment we're a little bit on top of each other so that's what's happening today then we're off to Bloomingdale's uh, it's a New York marathon today it's Sunday the 3rd of November I think that's what the date is today so you might actually see some of that on the way um, but yeah so we're going to go to Bloomingdale's and then we're probably going to go to Central Park come back here see our new room and then I don't know see what we do with the rest of the day but come with us Planet Hollywood. I'm not sure that these guys are uh, official Disney. I don't know. What gives it away? <laughs> Weird. We made a slight error. I made a slight error in map reading. Went left instead of right, so we're heading down instead of up, something like that. But anyway, it just means that we've gone for a nice little tour of New York and uh, it's a lovely day today so actually it doesn't really matter um, we've ended up I think we're in Koreatown not entirely sure but we're just heading up now towards the Empire State Building and then it should just be like a straight road all the way to Bloomingdale's and Central Park which we'll get to eventually so uh, everything works in blocks so in theory should be really easy but actually it's just really confusing all of these different blocks we've seen nothing of the marathon apparently it's all quite far out of the city so we probably won't really see any of it which is a shame but saying that i expect that it started really early so we're probably a bit late to see any of the runners now anyway it's just finding our feet getting our bearings it's a great place but yeah just confusing american sweets or candy it's just the best love coming in all of these shops. I resisted last night but I'm not resisting anymore. Mini M&M's but look at all the different M&M's and things that they do. Oh blurry there we go. Oh you found them? Oh good. And this is only like a really small selection. Us wandering around sort of and going in the wrong direction has worked out in our advantage. We've seen the Empire State Building, which is an absolute no-go for me. I do not do heights, so there's no way I'm going up that. I couldn't even really look at it. But we've also stumbled across the New York Public Library and I have just lived out just here my uh, Gossip Girl uh, reenactment of uh, Blair Wardle and the girls are sitting on the steps of the uh, uh, Public Library in New York. So uh, that was pretty cool. I'll insert a picture here. Yeah, that was cool. And now we're still heading to Bloomingdale's. And finally, after a couple more wrong turns from me, I will get the hang of Google Maps eventually. We've made it. We were recommended a bakery called Magnolia Bakery and there's one that's actually in Bloomingdale's so we decided to have a sweet treat before we hit the shop. So we've got coffee, lemonade and in here we have oh, mum went for a peanut butter cookie and I went for a confetti cupcake nice coffee and people watching with an Ikea these decorations are so cute 
when we were in Dubai, um, they had a Bloomingdale's there and they had like a whole shop within Bloomingdale's that had branded Bloomingdale's bits. We've literally asked about four different people who work here. They present us to all different floors and all different parts of the uh, shop. And they just don't seem to have it. Like they used to do like notebooks and flasks and just really nice like little touristy bits from Bloomingdale. Um, but now the only little section that they have are like maybe one or two things dotted around the store and then these. They are cute. Not quite what we're after, but anyway. If you go the most direct route to Bloomingdale's, uh, aka don't get lost, but that's not worth turning off either. If you go the most direct route, it's probably about 25 minutes from um, Times Square and all those kind of places, so it's not too bad. And uh, when it's dry and like nice weather, it's really quite a nice walk. Um, we're now heading back to the hotel. We're just going to go via Radio City, I think. And um, also, Mum wants to look in a shop called Papyrus. They used to have them in the UK, and they don't have them anymore. So uh, she wants to have a look in there at cards and gift wrap and things like that. And then we'll head back, but we've done some damage. It's time to go sort that out and see what our new room looks like. Always finding Disney and Star Wars, whatever shop we go in. These are so cute, look. There's the Death Star somewhere down there as well. And then I love this one. I bought the cupcake one for Dean last year when I was in Canada. That's so cool. It's a mini. It is a little bit later. We have come back to the hotel and we have a new room. We have a big room with two beds and lots of space. And we have a bathroom that's actually behind a door. So that's nice. Um, we have unpacked and it is now about quarter past six and we're going to go and get some dinner. We're hoping to go to this sort of all singing, all dances diner but we'll see if we can get in there. And um, if we do, we'll show you. Change of plan, the Stardust diner that we were going to go to had a queue way out the door. It was insane. Um, it looked really cool in there but it was packed. I expect we probably would have been waiting in a queue for um, at least an hour and a half. And we don't want to do that tonight. So we've come to somewhere called, where are we now? Ju Juniors. Uh, someone on Instagram recommended it to me and apparently they do amazing cheesecake. And I think it's the best that we're going to get compared to a cheesecake factory because they don't seem to have those in the centre of New York. So table will be ready in about 10, 15 minutes. So we're just going to wait and then think we're going to get some cheesecake and eat that in bed. are huge look at that it doesn't even have my mashed potato yet oh. and now the mashed potato <laughs> it's so good though the food in here is so good there's loads of it but it's down in america but oh that was so good i actually pretty much managed to demolish all of the meat. Um, I left the bread, but all of the mashed potatoes and stuff, and we have a piece of cheesecake to take back to the room. Oh. Good morning, welcome to day two of our New York adventure. Um, we were up really early this morning, but we've had a chill out morning, just taking it easy and deciding what we wanna do with the rest of our time here. And we've decided, um, thanks to one of my friends uh, mentioning on Instagram, that we should try this Stardust Cafe for breakfast, because apparently the queues are shorter and um, it's just maybe easier to get in, but you still get the same experience. So we decided to get up and do that before we go to the NBC studios for a tour in a couple of hours time. So that's the plan. Um, if we can't get into the Stardust Cafe, we will just come back and have breakfast at the hotel because it's free, but hopefully we do because I'd really like to see these dancing waiters and stuff. So we made it into Ellen's Stardust Diner. Uh, the queue was probably maybe about 15 minutes. Um, it moved really, really quickly and they just seat parties as soon as tables um, become free. So yeah, it was, it was good. We've come 
upstairs we have the coolest seats like overlooking the whole diner um, we've just ordered and there's just loads of people um, coming up and singing covers of different songs this place is so cool um, and as I say thank you very much to my friends who recommended that we come here for breakfast because dinner gets really really crazy breakfast is a little bit more chill still really busy but just as good so uh, I'm excited I've ordered a um, Joseph with a technicolor bagel um, with cream cheese for breakfast so I am um, looking forward to seeing what that looks like I have a feeling it's multi-coloured hence the name Shop. 
so that sort of adds to the, the perks of it. Um, so I'd definitely recommend. I enjoyed it. It was interesting to see behind the scenes of a TV um, studio and how they film things. So yeah, add it to your list if you say you're interested in just um, at the bottom of the Rockefeller Centre. But now, Central Park. So the walk to Central Park is probably only about 15, 20 minutes, just straight up a road, uh, straight up the road that the Rockefeller Centre's on. You just go up and 20 minutes you're here. Uh, so we've just come into the park at the sort of lower end and stumbled across the ice rink. Katie doesn't do ice skating. <laughs> Katie rules over when she ice skates. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're going to ice skate today. Uh, so many people around being like, oh, you know, carriage rides and all those kind of things. It is so expensive. It's like $60 for sort of 20 minutes and I oh, just can't justify it. I think it would be really cute, but just can't justify it. So uh, we are not going to do that. We're just going to go for a walk around instead and see what we see. Girl where Chuck and Blair get married. Um, it's really busy around here at the moment, so it's not really that easy to like film or take pictures, but it's quite cool to see it. around Central Park for a good couple of hours actually just sort of like taking it all in it's really pretty here and really peaceful it doesn't actually feel like we're in the center of New York uh, but we've decided that it's time to go get coffee and uh, go sit for a little bit we've been walking a lot the last couple of days um, so that's where we're gonna head now and then I might have quite an expensive purchase that I'm about to make so the bottom end of Central Park, there is also a zoo. We're not going in it today, but this is sort of what it looks like. This is the sea lion enclosure. I can hear him, but I can't see him. It's like a top secret entrance. Look, well, obviously it's not because you can see the logo, but it's like some, I don't know, mum just walked past it. She's like, is that Apple's headquarters? It's like, no, this is just the entrance to a shop. But uh, yeah, if you haven't guessed, this is where I'm going. And uh, this is where I may be about to make a very expensive process. Uh, per per this is where I'm most likely about to make a very expensive purchase. Here we go. Yes, mother? Yeah. What else can you see? The flow right in the far distance. Can you see that? Tiffany. Oh, yes. Excellent. Oh. Wow. Change of plan. A uh, little bit too complicated, um, really, to sort of look into getting it here with the different extensions that I would need and yeah so change of plan and, and also it was insanely busy in there it was even like a 20 minute wait just to talk to somebody so I think I'll look at home we are just in Starbucks at the moment in a very very posh Starbucks it's actually in the Trump Tower um, we just happen to be the closest Starbucks but it's pretty posh there's like marble everywhere and we have to come through security to get up here um, it's quite loud, um, but I just wanted to show you, I have been reunited with this drink. If you've watched our Walt Disney World vlogs, you will know that Dean and I absolutely love these when we were in Florida and the snack credit which was amazing. Um, I completely forgot about them and then I saw them on the menu here, so I am very much enjoying this right now. Um, I think we may go have a look at Tiffany's next, and then there are a couple of other shops we want to go into on the way back to the hotel. Tiffany was the biggest Tiffany I've ever been in and I may have just made a little purchase. It was a treat, I decided not to buy anything in Apple and so spent a tiny bit of money in Tiffany. 
we may be back there because mum spotted something that she likes but she's gonna have a think about it and we may end up going back there uh, tomorrow we'll see this shop, American Girl, we're gonna go into. I had one of these dolls when I was little and when we lived in America. I had no idea that they had a shop. It used to just all be sort of like mail order and stuff, I think. But um, yeah, I have a Samantha doll and this is so exciting for like such a big kid. I wonder if they've changed the sizing and stuff, but this shop is so cute. For any little girl, it is amazing. We are just back at our hotel. We've had a really lovely day. We went and had a look just now around like the Rockefeller Center and there's an ice rink and loads of shops. It's nice, wasn't it? Yeah, really yeah, pretty. Really pretty and they're starting to get Christmassy. Um, we are meeting up with some of my mum and dad's friends for dinner tonight. So we're back at the hotel, just gonna freshen up and then that is where we're gonna go. But I've gotta show you how weird the lift is here. It really does sort of feel like you're in a brothel. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the red light district. The lighting is awful. Overall though, the hotel very nice. Well situated, free breakfast, and the rooms are quite nice, although they probably could do with a little bit of a refurb. But other than that, can't complain. Talk to me baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the Talk to me, baby. 